Welcome to Insight Hub, the video series dedicated to the world of data and brought to you by Miracle's Data Practice. Hello everyone, this is Mansa Chathavalli working as a lead researcher in Miracle's Innovation Labs. Today I'm going to tell you about one of the Insight Hub video series, Tableau's VA chatbot, this chatbot. Here goes your agenda. Initially, I'll be telling you about the introduction to Dialogflow, advantages of Tableau, and followed by a live demo which we have did, and the architecture flow which we used while building our bot, and the technology stack which we used, and the bot capabilities. So, first of all, introduction to Dialogflow. Google's Dialogflow is incredible tool for building conversational experiences that helps us to get things done. We can build our conversation chatbots for our own business cases. Using this style of flow, developers can train the bot with numerous other phases that mean the same thing called intents. For extracting useful information from bot users, we to our bot by using entities. We can use predefined entities like system number, system date, etc. Or else we can create our own custom entities. In dialog flow, we have predefined agents. Even either we can use predefined agents or else we can create our own agents. It is easy to maintain the context throughout the conversation in dialogue flow. We can integrate with multiple channels like Skype, Twitter, Slack, Messenger, and Telegram. It will be done through one click integration. Now I'll be telling you about the advantages of Tabla. It is a simple drag and drop interfaces which converts the queries as visual images. It is very cost efficient when compared with other VA tools, and it is very much easier to upgrade. Tabla is very fast while working with the databases because Tabla data uses inline memory tool. This results in less development time for preparing the dashboards for the visualizations. Tabla is relying in first position over its competitors because of its ability to produce excellent visualizations and dashboards. Integration of third party services such as Hadoop is provided. It is also integrated with R language as well. Tabla can create more complex graphs giving a similar feel as the table graphs in Excel. And now I'll be showing a live demo uh, for our robot. Here users will interact with the chatbot uh, through Slack channel uh, where we can get the system utilization reports from Tabla online. So uh, first initially I'll greet the chatbot like hello. Uh, it will uh, respond me with the uh, chatbot, uh, how can I help you today? So I'll ask what, what are the work capabilities. So it was telling me that it is capable of displaying the reports of system utilization. So uh, now uh, I'll go on and I'll show uh, what are the reports uh, that we created in Tableau Online and uh, uh, the, those reports we can uh, view in chatbot here. So initially I want to know the RAM utilization over last week. I'll enter it as what is the RAM utilization over last week. So here is the report and here is the utilization which I have used over last week. And now uh, I'll show how much uh, CPU has been utilized in previous quarter. How much CPU utilized in last quarter. This much uh, CPU I have been uh, utilized in the last quarter. Now uh, I'll ask the bot to show me the percentage of uh, uh, process that I have done last week. So here is the report. Uh, this is a pie, pie chart where I have displayed uh, based on the each uh, day uh, it has been displayed. Like for Monday, it's 14.31 like this. For all the days, it, it got displayed. And now I'll ask the bot uh, to tell what is the RAM utilized uh, over last year. So this is also a uh, pie chart uh, which uh, gives us the reports of uh, every month in the last year. So uh, like this, we can get the system reports, uh, system utilization reports uh, from Tabla to chatbot. Here goes our architecture. We have integrated our chatbot into Slack for easy communication for developers. 
whenever user requests a query to your startbot, the request will be sent to Dialogflow, where it will set the intents that are available in Dialogflow. If the intent will be matches, then the action will be sent to get the reports from Tableau through REST APIs. These REST APIs of, of Python are responsible to check in Tableau online whether reports are available with the related query or not. If the reports are available, then it will be sent back to Python through the REST APIs and the report images will be stored in Cloudin database. And then the Dialogflow is responsible for uh, displaying that image in Slack. From there, a uh, user, uh, user can be viewed that report. In that way, user can view the reports of Tabla for a particular data set. Now I'll tell about the technology stack that we have used in our application. Python. Python is a high-level interactive object-oriented programming and scripting language. It is highly reliable and portable. It can run on a wide variety of hardware platforms and have a same interface on all the platforms. And coming to API.ai. It is for building our own conversational chatbots. It's a Google-owned developer of human-computer interaction, which is a natural language conversation. And Cloudin. Cloudin is a NoSQL non-relational distribution database. It is stored in the format of JSON format. And here we use Cloudin for storing report images that are coming from Tabla. And Tabla. Tabla is a BI analytics tool which is hosted in cloud where we can uh, publish and share our dashboards with anyone. It will con connect with the multiple data sources as well. Now here uh, we used for uh, uh, creating the reports for our uh, system utilization data set. Now here are our uh, bot capabilities. We have taken system utilization as the data set for this uh, bot and we have integrated this uh, bot into Slack channel. And uh, whenever user requests a query, and the related report will be retrieved uh, from Tableau online and will be displayed uh, to the user. And uh, we, here are the few reports uh, that we have created. We'll be showing the CPU utilization of last week and the RAM utilization and the memory utilized over last month and the processes that have uh, run last year. Thank you for watching a video on Inside Hub. The video series brought to you by Miracles Data Practice. For more videos, please visit miraclesoft.com slash insighthub.